You are sitting on a plane, hours and hours going by. You look at the ground below as you fly. Millions of people go through this every day. In total, 100,000 planes land and take off every day. All those planes pollute the air with greenhouse gases. This is bad for the earth and the beautiful environment. There must be a better, faster and cleaner way to achieve this global connection that planes create. So what if we double all through the earth? Digging a massive hole through the earth is very difficult. The deepest we humans ever dug is 12 kilometers deep, a far cry from the approximate 2,900 kilometers you would need to get to get to the core of the earth. Speaking of the core, Boring any tunnel through it would be almost impossible with our current technology, because the core melts all metals we know of. The inner core of the Earth is approximately 7000 degrees Celsius hot, meaning we would have to find or create a material which can survive under these extreme temperatures. The current most heat resistant material that we know of is tantalum hafnium carbide alloy being able to withstand a temperature of 3,990 degrees Celsius, approximately 4,000 degrees Celsius of the temperature we would need to reach, meaning we're not even halfway there. However, we haven't gone over the option to create a new material. We need to understand what makes a material heat resistant. Heat spreads in three ways, conduction, convection and radiation. Simply explained, conduction spreads through solid matter through direct contact, like your hand touching the stove. Convection is a transfer of heat through a gas or a liquid, like air or water. And finally, radiation is the spread of heat through waves instead of molecules. The inner core of the earth, which is currently the main problem preventing us from digging a tunnel through the earth, is solid, meaning heat spreads through conduction. This makes it so we have to find a way to stop molecules from conducting through our material. Materials which stop heat from spreading through them are called insulating materials. There are different ways to insulate a material, the most effective ways being to make it very dense or to stop the heat flow. The heat flow is basically the process where heat flows from warmer to cooler areas until there is no longer a temperature difference. If we are able to create this dense and heat stopping material, we can give it a name. Sulfantific Sixofantic Toxine. If we are able to create Sulfantific Sixofantic Toxine, we can finally move on to the next step, creating a digging machine. Thankfully, there are already plenty of tunnel digging machines on earth meaning all we have to do is replace the materials for the outside of the machine with sulfantific sixofantic toxine to protect the inner system that controls the machine. A tunnel digging machine is simply too advanced to explain in this video, but to give a rough perspective of how it works, all you have to know is that layers are being pushed forward. Repeating this process will create a tunnel. On average, a tunnel boring machine is 7.28 meters in diameter. So, now the next question comes, how long will it take to actually dig this tunnel? The average tunnel machine can dig around 32 meters every day. The center of the earth lies around 6,400 kilometers deep inside the earth. Obviously, we want to dig a tunnel through the earth and not stop at the center, meaning we would have to multiply this amount by 2, resulting in a length of 12,800 kilometers. You may have spotted the issue here. This process would take almost 11 years to complete. Let's skip forward 11 years. The hole is now complete. You're standing on the edge, looking down, but then you slip and fall in. It will take between 5 and 100 kilometers to suppress the crust, the thinnest and most outside layer of the earth. The same layer we live on every day. The crust is a solid layer. 
it would take about 2 and 8 minutes to surpass the crust. Next up, we get to the mantle, the thickest layer of the earth, being around 3,000 kilometers thick. The fall through this layer could take more than 15 minutes. You will feel quite hot, the temperature can rise heavily in this landscape of liquid magma. You will proceed to surpass the so-called outer core and then the final layer comes, the inner core. In total, it would take you about 21 minutes to reach the inner core, the center of the earth, and a maximum speed of 200 km per hour. When you reach the center, you will slowly stop and float. You will feel gravity pulling you from all sides and there would be no way to get back on your own. Digging this hole to make a road would also be impractical as cars would just fall down and not be able to get back up to the surface. The one way to make this hole useful is to make an elevator to lift people from one side of the world to the other. This could shorten 14 hour flights down to just a 1 hour lift ride. If you can afford the massively expensive fee, because this hole is not cheap, coming in at over 10 million euros for only the drill. We would also have to install the elevator and of course buy the land for the hole. All in all, this hole would be pretty bad for this task. The only real way you could use it would be to discover new oil and ore reservoirs hidden deep in the earth, like the massive amounts of iron in the core of our earth. But, of course, this is all nonsense and this hole is just a silly dumb idea. Because this earth is flat. Just like your mom.